Hi third graders. We get to do math art today and I'm really proud of you guys. You made it through your math. We made it through both our books. We got everything done and I'm really proud of you guys sticking with it and I know you had to do a lot of it at home without somebody there to ask questions with and um, and kind of figure it out and, and get help when you needed it and I'm really proud of you for plugging your way through that. Today I'm going to show you a math art. You deserve it. It's a fun one and I think that you'll you'll like to do it for for fun in different ways on your own after you learn how to do it. You're going to need a, a straight edge. It doesn't have to be a ruler because you're not going to measure anything but it has to have a straight edge for making straight lines. And then a piece of paper it can be any kind of paper and um, should be a square or a rectangle shape. Just a regular piece of paper works fine. Um, you might want a sharpie after you use pencil and you will probably use crayons but you can also do the coloring part with other things too. You'll see as we get started. So I'm going to put you down like this. Okay so first job is to find the center of our paper. So I'm going to fold my paper twice so that I can find that center spot. And I'm going to put a spot on the center like that. Okay. I'm using a Sharpie. I would suggest you start with pencil and then go over your lines with Sharpie after that, after you get it right where you want it. Okay. So the next part is I'm going to make these lines that I made with my dents. I'm going to make them with my straight edge so they're really straight. Now, the next lines that we're going to do are going to come from the inside out. We're going to line up with this dot and just make these diagonal lines that go out. And I would suggest making two more lines that are inside this rectangle. Um, they don't have to be a certain distance apart. They, you can make them even or not. It's up to you. So, I'm just going to line up with my dot and make two lines that come out like that. I'm going to do the same thing in each closed space. And I'm holding my ruler against that spot so that I know that it connects to that spot. That's kind of the only rule. Okay, but see this, this is wide, this is a little thinner, that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm not doing any measuring. Okay, the next part we're going to need to do is we're going to make a, um, it's going to end up looking similar to a spider web, but it's not, and there is a trick to it. We're going to go around in a circle here. Um, we're going to make a circle here, but we're going to do a curve. In each closed space, our curve is going to change direction. So, for instance, if I start here, I'm going to make a curve that goes up, then I'm going to make a curve that goes down, then I'm going to make a curve that goes up, and then one that goes down, and one that goes up, and one that goes curves down, up, down, up, down, up, and down. And if we made the same number of spaces in each rectangle, we will be able to it'll come back to a close at the right location. Now, this one, the next line up, we're gonna make another ring. We want the curves to follow the same, uh, in the same closed space, the curve is gonna follow the same direction. So like this one was kind of a smile shape. We're gonna go up a little ways and make another. And do the same thing, changing the curves direction, like from a smile to a frown. Oops, I got a bump in my table. Okay, and then it will connect at the other end. So where you where you leave off of one curve, you start the next so that it actually ends up making like a curve like that. Same thing, we're gonna make another smile shape, same same type of curve in each kind of triangle space. So that all of the curves in this space are curving in the same direction. Okay. I'm going kind of fast and in order for you to not make a mistake, 
you should go a little slower and use pencil so that you can erase it if you make a mistake. Okay, I'm going to make one more example here. Oops, that one's kind of going off the paper, so I'm going to show it off the paper. Because I have a rectangle, you may have some curves that end up kind of going off the paper, and you'll have to just kind of estimate where it would have landed. Okay. Okay, now, this uh, looks cool enough, but it's not done. The next part is deciding on um, two color patterns that you want to make. So I'm going to use a red and an orange, and then I'm going to use a green and a blue. Okay, you can decide on your own. I'm going to make a pattern with these two colors and a pattern with these two colors, and it's going to work its way around. All right, so for example, if I pick this triangle, now I have to kind of look at this space again. I'm going to go red, and then skip this space, and do red. And then skip this space, and do red up here. And I'm staying in the lines because I want it to look real geometric, real sharp and clean. Okay. This is where you, you don't have to use crayon. You could use oil pastel, paint, even watercolor work fine. Um, you could do a black and white pattern. If you don't have any crayons or colors, you could just use pencil. Okay. Now in between this, I'm going to use orange and orange. Okay. Now, my okay, I'm back and my video kind of cut me off, but I'm going to show you. I went ahead and finished my coloring of mine. Okay. And I want to show you the pattern that you use with the second set of colors. When we left off, I had colored just this space in the orange and red. Then this space, it's kind of a triangle shape. I did my blue and green pattern. Then I went back to my orange, red and orange, and then blue, green and blue, red and orange, green and blue. Keep working my way around with that, okay? It will come out to where you don't have, you know, the blue and the green right next to each other because uh, if you put two lines into each rectangle, you're gonna have those 12 spaces, right? So, you have, um, when you're through, you'll notice it has kind of an optical illusion to it, right? The red and the orange look like they're closer to you. The blue and the green look like they're, it's almost like a ribbon or a fabric kind of with a curve that's coming up and down and up and down. If you do this with a black and white and you leave these all black and these all white, you'll see it even more dramatically. And um, that's kind of cool. So play around with the colors. Try it a couple of times. You can do it even on a small piece of paper and see how it comes out with black and white. And then when you're through, you need to decide where the bottom of your paper is. Sign your name like an artist. And hang it up. It's beautiful. See you later.